we're looking for the surface area of a plane. That's the equation here, 2x3y plus c equals 10. And it's in the first auction. So these are two very important pieces of information that we got to watch. I'm going to try to draw this. And I'll just draw a random plane. And because I know it's in the first octant, then this is going to be the boundaries of that plane. Only in this little section. Everything else can be ignored. And I'm going to notice that it's going to intersect here, here, and here. So that's interesting. That's actually going to create a triangle. Like this. And so uh, that's going to give us a little area here. And we can just imagine that this thing's kind of, you know, it's going more upwards towards that side. This is kind of going more towards that side. Down, kind of, a bit more. Until it's very slanted here. And then over here, it would come out, you know, sort of in this direction or something. But this is kind of how we could see this plane uh, being able to do that. And uh, now we're getting these three coordinates here, there, and there. Uh, so we can get some points. This one, you're noticing that we have an X coordinate. So it's uh, an X here. And this one, you're noticing that there's an X coordinate. So there's an X. But the Y is 0 and the 0 is 0. Over here, you're noticing that um, we have 0 and the X. And we have y, and then we have the 0 and the z. And over here, we have uh, 0, 0, and then there's the z. So we've kind of got three points there. Let's try to actually use this equation to figure out what those points are. Um, if we set that equal to 0, we could get x equals 5. Here, we would get y equals 10 over 3. And here, we get z equals 10. And so now, if we remember from the um, from some time ago, we had this nice little equation. It's the area of a triangle. If you know this vector and that vector is going to be, you know, AC cross, well, AB cross AC divided by 2 gives you the area of the triangle. And so we're going to try to do that. I'm going to call this point A. I'll call this point B, here's C, and so I'll go AB, vector AB. It's going to be this point minus that point, so it's like minus 5, 10 over 3, and 0. And then we have AC, which is minus 5, 0, and 10. And then we're going to try to cross these two things, so that's actually a pretty easy calculation. We'll just say... Negative 5, 10, 3, 0. And I'll just do this like that. Negative 5, 0, 10. Bam. And then we'll cross these. We'll get 100 over 3 for the first piece. We'll get 0 in here. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's a... That's a 10 right there. And then we're going to get negative 50 over here. And then we're going to get um, negative 50 over 3. That's actually positive 50. Okay. And then what we got to do is find the magnitude of this. And then we can divide that by 2. That was a piece we missed over there, but... When we do that, we're just going to square everything, take the square root, and, well, if we plug that into the calculator, we'll go 100 over 3 squared plus 50 squared plus 50 over 3 squared, and then we will square root that, and we'll divide that by 2, and now we've got our answer. So it's 25 squared of 14 divided by 3. Ooh.